My name is Jim Wolfe. I'm pastor of First Baptist Church in Pontiac, Illinois, and I presently have the privilege of serving as vice president of the American Baptist Churches in the USA. I'd like to share a short meditation with you on this third Sunday of Advent, December the 12th. I want to share with you just a portion of a verse from Zephaniah, the third chapter, verse 14, which says, Sing aloud, O daughter Zion, shout, O Israel. Each of the lectionary readings for this day has something to say about rejoicing and joyful exclamation about what we have experienced through the birth of Christ and the life of Jesus. Praises such as sing aloud, sing praises to the Lord. And Paul's very famous words, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say rejoice. These words call us to stand on our feet, raise our hands, and give glory to God. These texts speak to both remembrance and expectation. We remember and celebrate what God has done for us in Christ, as well as look forward to what God does for us each day of our lives. While we eagerly anticipate the second advent of the Lord, we live each day in the constant presence of God. Before his death, Jesus promised the disciples, I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate. Advocate translates the Greek word parakletos, which means comforter, or one called to one side. Isn't that incredible? The great I am, creator of the cosmos, deigns to throw off all power and become a human being to love and save the likes of you and me. That demands our praise. John the Baptist called people to acts of repentance. It was not enough to profess compunction for sin. John insisted that people bear fruits worthy of repentance. This meant everyday actions of charity and justice. Whoever has two coats must share with anyone who has none, and whoever has food must do likewise. Tax collectors were warned to collect only what was due, and soldiers warned not to extort, but to be satisfied with their wages. Advent is the coming of God into the world in the person of Jesus the Christ. It is a clarion call to celebration, but much more is a call to radical obedience, which has the power to transform the world. Here's a thought for you to ponder. What do you remember in the life of Jesus that strikes you as worthy of celebration? What fruits of repentance does your life and my life model? Pray with me, please. Dear God, I celebrate the advent of your son who showed humankind the very nature of your love. I want to see you more clearly, love you more dearly, and follow you more nearly day by day.